So let me ask you a question. What is the best thing to put on a bacon sandwich? If you say anything other than brown sauce, there is something seriously wrong with you. This is the only condiment that goes on bacon sandwiches. <laughs> Joking aside, brown sauce, absolutely superb. HP, one of the best. Uh, I've tried Daddy's, I wasn't too keen on Daddy's. It, it, it wasn't HP. Now, we're in France, things like this can be difficult to get hold of. And not only that, over the years, they use inferior ingredients in these sauces nowadays. You know, rather than the stuff we've got here, they just put in any old tomatoes and stuff like that. So today, for the first time, I've not done this before, uh, I've been watching some videos on YouTube, but I thought we'll just have a go at knocking up some brown sauce and um, see if it compares to this. Now this is one of my favourites. I have this on, you know, things like shepherd's pie, toad in the owl, fried breakfast, bacon sandwich. It is one of the best. <laughs> I don't know what the equivalent would be in the rest of the world, but um, it's got quite a, a tangy taste to it. If I can, I don't know if I can, uh, ingredients, tomatoes, malt vinegar, barley, and lots of funny preservatives and stuff. So today we're gonna to have a go at making our own brown sauce. Get a nice big saucepan, like so. I'm gonna put the apples in it. These are from uh, mum and dad, courtesy of the olds out of their garden. One brown onion chopped up, it's just an ordinary onion. That's going in there too. Let me uh, get that out of there. Uh, the prunes, they've been cut up uh, over in France when we buy these, they've got the stones in them still. But basically prunes are just a dried plum. 250 grams of those going in. They're a little bit sticky. Don't worry too much. I mean, you can chop them up a little bit more if you want. Brown sugar's going in. No, that's stuck as well, apparently. Oh, there we go. Making a bit of a mess here. Quarter of a cup of salt. Nine hundred milliliters of malt vinegar. Now this thing doesn't pour very nicely, so so don't worry if you don't chop it up too much because uh, we're going to get the stick blender on it in a bit. So that's nine hundred milliliters malt vinegar, allspice. Make sure it's allspice. Half a teaspoon of allspice. Pop that in there like so. One teaspoon of ground ginger. Half a teaspoon of cayenne. Quarter of a teaspoon of this. And I'll just grate this over the thing. Try not to drop it. Once you've got that all in the pan, we're now going to go and get this over on the stove. We're going to bring it up to the boil and let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll bring it back over onto the table. So we'll see you over on the stove. When that's been doing for about 10 to 15 minutes, it's gonna look something like this. The fruit's all gonna be nice and soft. So now you've got two options really. You can either let this cool down and put it in a food processor and blend it up. Or if you uh, 
want to do it while it's hot, use one of these, stick blender. This is a decent one. Um, we have had them before and they've been quite hopeless. So you want to be a bit careful doing this because it is quite hot. Uh, but I'm just going to blend it up and uh, get it nice and smooth. <laughs> So that's all blended up now, that's nice and smooth, you can see it's uh, run off the spoon. Um, that, it has got a bit of texture to it, it's not smooth smooth, um, but it depends how you like your sauce. You could always put it through a sieve just to strain out any lumps, but for, for me that's perfect. So now what we're going to want to do is get it back on the stove for another 15 to 20 minutes, just let that simmer away with the lid off. and. Um, just to thicken it up a little bit. And I'll be right back with you and we'll get it in some bottles. So that's been bibbling away on the stove for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's like a really nice consistency now. So there's nothing left to do but to get it in some bottles. Uh, these are 250, aren't they? Mm. So we've just got some 250 milliliter bottles. Everything's been sterilized. The Hobbit's done that job for us. Thank you very much, Tina. So all I'm going to do is just try and do this without making a mess because I'm good at that. Around the outside of the lid, the neck of the jar, even not the lid, because this is the lid. We'll screw the lid on, and that's it. That is a bottle of homemade brown sauce, better than anything you can buy in the supermarket. This will keep for weeks, months, even years if you deal with the, the bottles properly. Tina's going to get these put in the uh, the water canner. Um, get these sealed up nicely and that will seal the lids and that will keep for a couple of years. There's plenty of vinegar and sugar in it. So I'm going to get the rest bottled up and uh, I'll get back with you soon. So there we go, all done. Got it bottled up, we've got six bottles out of that. Uh, so that's one and a half litres of brown sauce. Uh, I've tried a cheeky little bit and I've got a little bit left over. That's going on tonight's dinner. We're having steak and chips, mushrooms and peas tonight. So. That's going on my dinner tonight, um, but yeah, brown HP brown sauce, homemade brown sauce. If you're a bit of a fan of this, have a go at making this stuff. Um, it tastes really fruity. Uh, it will need a week or so to mature in the bottle, um, but Tina's going to water can them, and we can put them down in the dungeon, uh, and we'll try them when they're matured. We have got a few bottles of the HP sauce in stock because if you've been following this channel you'll know that the Hobbit likes to be prepared and we've got quite a bit of stock down in the dungeon. Mm. So I've got to apparently get, use up the HP sauce before we crack on with this. If you water can these and seal the lids properly, they should last on the shelf for a couple of years. They probably won't last that long in this house, but anyway. So give it a go. Let us know in the comments how you got on. Next time we're going to do some of these, I'm going to put some cheeky chilies in it. <laughs> so, if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And from me and the Hobbit over there, it's bye for now.